Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but not too much. No, insurance has been regulated. It happens to be regulated primarily on a state basis, but insurance has been regulated ever since we went into it. And it, it hasn't, you know, when I, when I looked at Geico, it was doing seven million of business, and, you know, it, 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 it will do 30 odd billion of, billion of business now. It, it's been regulated the whole time. And regulation can be a pain in the neck generally, but on the other hand, we don't want a bunch of charlatans operating in the insurance business. And, and insurance actually lends itself to charlatans because you get handed money and you give the other guy a promise. And, and uh, I like the fact that there is regulation in the insurance business or the banking business. It doesn't mean it can't drive you crazy sometimes or anything of the sort, but those businesses should be regulated. It, uh, they're they're uh, too important at any time you can, you can take other people's money and they go home with a promise and you go home with the money. I, I, I don't mind a certain amount of regulation in those businesses. Charlie? Yeah, well, if you're using the government's credit because you have deposit insurance, there's an implicit bargain. You can't be too crazy with what you do with the money. That's a perfectly reasonable. And I, I absolutely believe that we should have a regulation system that, that uh, involves supervision of risk-taking by banks. It got particularly bad in the investment banks at the peak of the, the, the uh, real estate crisis. And the behavior was, there's only one word for the behavior. It was disgusting. And it was pretty much everybody. It's hard to think of anybody who stayed sane in that boom. They, they felt the other guys doing dumb things, I've got to do it too or I'll be left out. What a crazy way to behave. And so, sure, there's some intervention, but it probably has to be. Do you want a Food and Drug Administration? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll be unhappy with how they do it if you're in the business and all of that, but and, you know, I, I find any kind of regulation irritating, but nevertheless, it, it's good for the system. And, and actually, a number of regulators, I would, you know, I, I would say that they've really been quite sensible about regulation. But, um, uh, you don't feel that way when you're being told how to run your business, but it, as Charlie says, you, you wouldn't want to be a bank that, that ran in an unregulated system where anybody could come in and do all kinds of things that would actually have, that would have consequences that drew you into their, the problems that they created themselves. And, uh, uh, we had the Wild West in banking and long ago, and, and uh, uh, it, it produced a lot of problems in the, in the 19th century. 